Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and I'm back in Florida at Sunshine State RV. It's been a while, Hank. Hey? Yeah, there's palm trees, but you see them? Look I've at them. <laughs> look at look how cool those are. This is like the perfect backdrop. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks a little bit like California with those palm trees, but this is Florida. Although the weather is actually a little cool, it is cool. So we can't it complain. Cool. Nick Schmidt. Yes, sir. Sunshine, Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. That's right. And we haven't done one of these. Right. So where was I? Where were we? Do you remember? Yes, we are in Gainesville, Florida, there where the palms <laughs> are shining. Yeah. The sun is shining. The batteries the, aren't working, though. And the palms are swaying. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, since you've been gone, we survived two hurricanes. No one. Ian there was and one. Nicole. I was here. I was here for the first one oh, for okay. Ian. I was he here. left. He left town. He's one of the scared it has, Flor Floridians. It hasn't been that long. It hasn't the been scared that long. Floridian. <laughs> scared of hurricanes. Yeah, I've been out in California. You guys will see those videos coming up. But today, I want to talk about something really cool because almost, almost two years ago, yeah, I bought a van from you. You did. That was one of the best and worst days of my life. <laughs> yes, and we're right now standing in front of the 2023 version of that van. Yep. Coach right. from Beyond rear bath. Yes, uh, 2023, but it has a generator. Just like yours. Just like mine. You have the option for a lithium battery. This one yes. has a generator. Yeah, we're calling this the Hank Strange <laughs> Special. If you want yeah. to be strange like Hank, right. this is the RV to get. This right. is it. Yeah, should I upgrade? That Nick hopes yes. I, I think should. <laughs> yes. I think today's a great day to buy a new RV, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go through this Coachman Beyond, which is built. This one's built on a 2022 Ford Transit. It is. Yep. 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 All-wheel All -wheel drive. drive. Uh -huh. Yes. We're gonna go through this. It's built by Coachman. It's called the Beyond, and it's a 20. What is it? 23 Coachman Beyond. So what is it like? Uh, what's the thing? Uh, beyond. 22 RB. 22 RB. Yes. There you 22 go. 22 feet long. <laughs> I have this one, but who knows? <laughs> this is what I'm, I'm an RV professional. We don't know right. what Hank does yet. Yeah. I am I, a Vanasaur. We, we don't know what you, you are. As you can see but right yes, there. This is the 2023 <laughs> Coach and Beyond rear bath. Yeah. Very close to mine, just newer. So we're going to kind of go through this, yeah, do the walk that. around, yeah. everything that we usually do, and then I'll probably compare it to mine. Yes. Right? You ready yeah, to do I'm, this? That's a good idea. Let's do it. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. So first of all, I wanna say, man, the uh, Ford Transit, the best van in the world to build a Class B van on. I'm, I'm very glad that is your opinion because that is what you bought. Right. Um, just like my wife thinks I'm the best looking man in the world because I'm the one she's stuck with. Right. So okay. maybe that's why. <laughs> I do agree. Ford Transit is yeah. a great, a great chassis. Uh, it's 22 feet long. The dual wheels in the back, people really like it. They mm -hmm. like that it's all wheel drive. So what that means is you don't have to push a button or engage anything. It just right. automatically kicks in when you need it. It's a V6 EcoBoost engine. So yeah. a lot of the pickup trucks are actually going to this V6 EcoBoost yeah, engine. It's pretty, it's pretty powerful. I mean, it's lots over of 300 horsepower. Lots of towing capacity. Yeah. Lots of towing. Right. And and when we get in, you'll see all of the technology also, which is yeah. which is great. I think. The inside of this technology-wise is even better than some of the Mercedes. I mean, the big, huge screen. I mean, lots of cool things. Dodge is catching up, though. The new Promaster is sweet. I mean, yeah, they've, it's looking they've good. done some big upgrades. Yeah, it's looking good. I think if you're someone who is you're looking at these vans, I think Mercedes is the Sprinter is still the best looking. 
Yeah. Those are the best. If you're talking about just looks, I know that's a you know, be. Yeah. That's a relative to people, but that's I think opinion. they look good. This is the second best looking, and Promaster to me was the worst, but now it's really it is, looking it good. It is, and they're about to come out with a brand new redesigned front end. Yeah. But also the bigger difference is 24 feet in the Mercedes. Yeah. You got a bigger feet van on the Ford. Yeah. And 20 feet 10 inches on the Dodge. So there are different sizes. Right. I know mm -hmm. Mercedes has a few sizes within that. But generally speaking, 24, 22, 20. Yeah. So you have the different sizes. And I as think well. the new the new Promaster chassis is going to be a little bit higher than what it's been in the past. From I don't know. From what I, I think heard, they're taking so. your mohawk into right. effect. <laughs> they want to make sure yeah. that, that somehow he could not strange. he could not resist. He, just, about he only mohawk. does videos on days he gets a new haircut. If he yeah. doesn't have a fresh haircut, forget <laughs> it. He don't want to do a video yeah, on days like today. I was looking back. Nick, I'm ready. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I haven't had a haircut in a month until today. Okay. So I was so looking real bad. Yeah, you're when you ready. see the videos of me in California, you can make fun of me. You have a tough time actually keeping the transits here. So People really love these, right? Even for the last two years, yeah. we haven't had one for sale. Right. Everyone that's come in has been spoken for. This one is actually sold. So the someone that ordered it, you know, six, eight months ago. <laughs> we can't keep them for sale. So what about sale. this one? You got another this one. This one is sold as well. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool though. It's a guy who, who drives semi trucks for Walmart. Oh, and cool. he's and, and he works a week off a week. So on his yeah. off week, he has this and he travels around or he, he's he's buying this. Yeah. And then he goes and drives a truck, comes back and, and his RV. Yeah. You know, are so, these the colors you're seeing, white and silver? Yes. Mostly yep, coming yep. In? These okay. are the two colors that Coachman okay. offers. This is the white one mm -hmm. and this is the silver. Yes. As we talk about some of the redesign stuff, Yep. You know, these are brand new by Xenon headlights. Yeah. So very cool how they're active. They're bright. They have that cool halo. Yeah, that this around very them. close to the Sprinter vans now, I think, with these yeah. headlights. Mine does not have that, and the lights are weak. These are awesome lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I think yeah. you should trade today. Uh, today. 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 I can't. This belongs to someone already. Oh, that's true. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> that um, poor person. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, Hank, if you want it, they might understand. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. So, <laughs> brand new headlights, uh -huh. very, very nice upgrade. I like how now they're coloring the bumper. So, yeah. so your bumper is like a black cladded plastic. Yeah. Where now Ford is actually doing this. They are yeah. cladding the bumper to be the body color, which which I think is sharp. Yeah. Um, I like the bigger grill, too. Yeah. So, just to kind of give a comparison, look right here, Hank. Oh, you is this that a gray one? Yeah, this, this is a more. This is an older one with with the old yeah. headlights, the small grill. Yeah, and the, I think this looks like this is this is probably rear wheel drive, right? This is rear wheel yeah, drive. There you go. Yeah. So, so this is the older style. Yeah. And then this is kind of what they've gone to. Are you to. still getting from Coachman rear wheel drive vans like this, or no. are they all all wheel drive? Every nowadays? single one's all wheel drive. Okay. Everyone. Very cool. Yeah. The other cool thing is the fog lights. So I know yep. on yours you have fog lights and parking sensors. Yeah. On on the older ones they don't have that as well. Mm -hmm. So those are some safety features. And then as as we walk inside, we'll talk about some of the other ones with the blind spot assist and the the uh, adaptive cruise and all all the other fancy yeah high end but this stuff. is a very good looking van very, very sharp. sought yeah. after ford is like the number one seller of vans that's out you, there man they, can, more than they can't make them fast enough i know for us mm -hmm. that the beyond is is the most requested mm -hmm. type rv yeah. i mean we we, yeah. we get so many people asking about these beyonds all yeah the and time. i don't think that if you're looking for a Ford Transit from a company, like a, a big established company, a big manufacturer making a lot of vans. I think, is it only Coachman that's so really kicking only out? Only Coachman is doing yeah. this. Um, mm -hmm. Chinook is starting to okay. make vans again. Right. And they are making one on the Transit chassis. So yes. so those are coming down the pipe here really soon. I but have a video with Chinook. Are you going to be carrying Chinook? Yes. Are you? Oh, really? We are. Oh, Can I tell you that? Uh, no, I think uh, you told me you were thinking about it. Yeah, that's no. news. Yeah, no, that's we'll news. we'll have one in the next few weeks. Sweet. Okay, yeah. so we'll definitely do a of course, video on of course. that. Okay, awesome. So, so as as we keep walking, you yeah. usually walk around this you side. Go around? Yeah, let's go around the this door. way. So, like I said, fog lights, parking sensors. You know, one thing that I really like are the Ford alloy wheels. These mm -hmm. aren't upgraded from some aftermarket company. Mm -hmm. These are the original Ford upgraded alloy wheels that come on this one new. So this is as designed by Ford. Okay. Um, they do have a keypad here. Mm -hmm. um, so, Keyless entry. Yep. So mm -hmm. everyone that we sell, I program a secret code so I can get into every Beyond in the country. Do you really? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Um, because I lost my secret code thing. I never, 
This is a thing. 007. Two years. Two 007. Years ago. Really? No. No, exactly. Two years ago, you sold me. You gave me the card. I wish I knew where it was. 007 <laughs> should be everyone's code. Like, how easy yeah. is that to remember? Take this 007. A little, a little tip on that one. Take a picture of, of your card, of card that tells you that. Because I still don't know how to use that thing. I don't so know. I got no idea either. <laughs> but yeah, it is nice to have. You have right. to carry your keys with you. Yeah, um, everyone on the Beyond Owners group right now is laughing at me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. So they they have the sewer connections down here. This is nice. I like where they put a hose mm -hmm. port right next to the sewer connection. Okay. So that way you can be dumping and spraying and cleaning all at the same time. Yeah. So, so this you is your gray over here, right? Because yeah. this is a rare bath, so this is the gray right yep, here. Yep. So this is the gray that yeah. does the sink. So the sink yeah. is right here, yeah. and they put that gray tank right below it. Mm -hmm. um, this is an extender for solar. So yeah. if you did want to maybe put solar on the hood of your you could do it engine yeah. uh, on the hood, you can put solar. You can, you can, you can the wrap side. the thing in solar <laughs> on a whole side here. Yeah. You can go hook up to a solar farm on the side of the road, yeah. and you can plug I in here. I suggest you buy like a thousand app. A uh, thousand watts of solar. You can do that but too. this has, uh, what does it have? 200? Uh, two or 300. Okay, cool. Um, I like how high all of this is. Mm -hmm. You know, the, um, they got to have the, the gravity tank uh, hookups low because gravity, you know, waste has to flow downhill. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. But these don't have to be low. And I like yeah. it that they're higher up. So that way you can just stand here. You can do everything you need. Yep, you can plug, plug in, smart plug. I know I've showed that a lot. Let me yeah, grab it and I'll show it. That works great. And while Nick's doing that, there. so there is, th this has propane on it. So there you go, there's your propane stuff. And there's your black tank because the uh, shower is right back here, which you guys will see here in a minute. So I love, I love this smart plug because there's like latches on it and you mm -hmm. plug it in, in and then it doesn't come out at all. Yep. So, and then, and then we'll, those. you have to push it and it comes out real yeah. easily. And then even when it's in, this lights up mm -hmm. to show when you're there and here to show you the power. power. Yep. Um, there's never a question. A lot of issues we see are when people are kind of halfway mm -hmm. plugged in, not all the way. It tends to arc and there tends to be issues. Yeah. So this is nice. It's really getting it in there. Good. Have you gotten good feedback from that? I have one. I, I love yes. this. Yeah. 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 So, people love it. Okay, cool. And that person? Hank Strange saved your bag for you. Thank you. Just remember that. And I saved your instructions. <laughs> there you go. For the smart plug. Yeah. yeah. I'm not too smart when it comes to putting <laughs> stuff away. Yeah. You're really good at taking stuff out of bags, I noticed, that cannot put them. I usually leave it, leave it laid around and my, uh, my guys come behind me and clean it up. <laughs> so yes. here is the black tank right here mm -hmm. and gray as well, right? No, this is black. So what about the gray from the shower? The gray is up the front. We just oh, showed that, remember? So it goes all the way back and it dumps yeah, there. Yeah, so all your gray stuff will go in there and then your black stuff's coming out of there. So you can dump that. And then down there, I was talking about the propane. You've got propane on this there one. There is propane. Yeah, so there you go. There's your That's container. Where you fill it. And then there's where your, your uh, sewer hose will be. You can hide it in there. Ah. There's a little thing in there to hide your... And then you see the extra exhaust here. This is a generator model. They do make a lithium model, which is the Li3. Mm -hmm. uh, people love lithium, but then people are also liking the generator. It's a really, really quiet generator. Yeah. Really easy to use. What's really popular right now, kind of what Hank did, was to get a generator model like this, and then upgrade it with tons of Battleborn batteries. How many, what do you have, like seven? I have, no, I've got about 540 amp okay. hours on okay. mine. So almost, but, yeah, but almost if you do seven come. or 800, I think is good, depending on where you are. 540 is fine, I mean, you don't, yeah. you don't run out of battery, do you? Uh, if it's hot, like right now it's not hot, right? But right. if it's hot, I can run my AC for about four and a half, five hours off of those well, you batteries, that's not bad. On, right? Yeah, you can, what I love about it is the generator, because yeah. you could always kick that generator on, charge use that power, LRP, charge it, it up. Yeah. No, yeah. I think, it's, I think so, it's good to have both. Yeah. Um, but really, I mean, now they're coming with 630 amp hours. You can go six to eight hours with with the yeah. 12 volt or the Truma air conditioner, right. and then you don't need a generator. Yeah, and I think the when, when Coachman does it, it's Lithionics. Correct. So I know I'm gonna be a smarty pants on this one. There's gonna be extra, comments about me interrupting you that's all right but i have one of these so you do you know and then we do have a lithionics video we do <laughs> that's coming up nick nick, nick did the has, intro on. has that not been done yet why before? am i laughing i don't know it's because it's slacker. not yeah it's not edited yet it's so we're, 
It's gonna get out this year. One day. I promise. Before we get into 2023, uh, they got a library of videos that are unpublished. <laughs> One day when you die, it's like the Jimi Hendrix songs. Uh, instead of the, the unpublished Jimi Hendrix there's songs. <laughs> it's going to be like yeah. the unpublished videos of there's Hank Strange. There's so many. There's so many. You know, if someone looking at this is thinking, hey, should I just buy this and upgrade the batteries, or is it better to get Lithionics? Uh, what's your opinion on that? So, so not everybody's as, as adventurous as you are when it comes to doing a big battery upgrade. So, you know, some people want everything to be factory exactly as it's meant mm -hmm. to be from the factory and all that. Mm -hmm. So you would get the LI3 yeah. and just be happy with the 630, which is great. Mm -hmm. 630 amp hours is Pretty great. Good. Yeah. You know, with the inverter and the solar and everything you need to run the RV for as long as you need. Yeah. But some people like to be a little extra. Um, yes. And yeah. those <laughs> extra people, they like to have a generator and lithium yeah. and uh, a windmill. I mean, he carries a windmill what? around with him that kind of spins on the yeah. side of the road and generates Listen, power. Listen, I've got 40,000 miles on mine and I've only been to one place that I plugged in power and that was at Coachman. Never plugged in? No. So, you know, I'm so boondocking, it's great to yeah. have a generator and it sips off of the off of the regular gas tank. It does. I think this has like a 25 gallon yep. uh, gas tank. So, you know, you can you can literally charge it up off of yeah. the generator yeah, of and run all the other things. So I think it's convenient and it's probably a little bit cheaper to do your own upgrade, but it's still gonna be like 10, 15 grand compared to it's a little cheaper. Is it ever completely right? No, <laughs> I have to say that. No, what I was going to say is like the Lithionic system is very, very smart. Yes. It's a really good system. I was really impressed when I saw what they did. And then I think you can probably speak to like your experience from selling a bunch of vans with Yeah, no, Lithionic is, yeah. is phenomenal. We actually have a guy buying a Nova right now who is trading in a Winnebago view. Mm -hmm. He wants to go a little smaller and we are doubling his lithium. Oh, so sweet. he has a 630. Mm -hmm. We're putting another 630 in oh, his awesome. coach. So he's gonna have 1260 amp hours that's, of that's lithium awesome. batteries. How yeah. crazy is that? I'm gonna now get 3000 amp, 3000 amp, no. <laughs> so his view he's trading in has a thousand amp hours of lithium batteries yeah. in a Winnebago view. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you wanna talk about lithium. Yeah. Lithium for you days. You can't have enough lithium. For days. No, that's awesome. He okay. likes, he told me he likes the Mooch Park. Uh-huh. Mooch, Mooch Park, not Mooch. Boondock. Oh yeah, So Mooch Park. park. and just Mooch off. Society, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. Community. Friends, you know, friends. park in a friend's yard and everything. Yeah. So yeah, so there you go. For I think generators are still cool. It's cool that uh Coachman is actually still building and yeah. giving you the option of yeah. the generator. Yeah. So tow package? Yep. Hookups there. There you go. Toes. How much can you just tow? Um, what is this like 6,500? Is it 5,000? 5, yeah, 5, something like that. Yeah, because of the weight and everything on it. I'll give you guys a quick look under there, or I'll cut in some video so you can see there's a spare tire right there, and then that green thing is the generator, and of course, you can see the dualies. And dualies, you were talking about it, dualies makes your ride so this is a little bit lower ride yeah. than you would get like in a 4x4, four four, yeah. but with the dualies, it's way more stable. I think yeah, very comfortable. And, and, and people like the dualies for towing. Mm -hmm. They like it for stability. Right. They like it if they're driving I-10 across the country. Yeah. And, and it gets real windy sometimes going through Texas yeah. or something. I just did they that. Have, yeah. They have good stability. The other right. thing that Coachman does that's really cool is they upgrade the ride. So they, they put sumo springs on here to make it more comfortable mm -hmm. and ride better. So, yeah. you know, Coachman does a great job of not just handing you exactly what it comes with but actually upgrading and making everything better yeah i would agree with that you want to show off the battery here so this does have a battery in it it does so have a battery in yeah it. i don't okay. know where it is though yeah come on nick you would know where it is. the battery oh, yeah, right that's here. right it's right so, here so that's what we did we took those batteries out on yours yeah and we and we it's an agm <laughs> there's two of those right one on this side one on the other side no there's one in here one down there replaced with that and then the one inside the one inside yeah so that's how yeah. we got up to the five because what do we put there we put like a two it's 270 a 270 so we did two amp hours yeah and then we did a 270 inside the inside coast. yeah that's right. you know what uh, one of these days, the video on that will be out too, Nick. That's all right. Just keep waiting. <laughs> these things are treated with hush mat. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, cool power awning. Um, right. This is a Carefree Colorado. Uh -huh. They are testing some Girard awnings right now. We just got one in. 
Um, oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was pretty nice looking. It's on a on a gallery somewhere. It might be this oh. gallery right here, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is that black awning on top. Of oh, there. I see. Okay. That's a Gerard awning. Oh, okay. That's a Galleria down there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. Dude, we got RVs everywhere. I know. Everywhere. I know. So, Carefree Colorado awning has an LED light strip on it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I always tell a story, and, and I was actually going through some pictures the other day. I'll have to send you one of these pictures. Mm -hmm. we, we go camping. You know, my kids, I got four kids. Now, they're like 18 and 16 and 13 and 11. But when wow. they were like two, four, six, and eight, we would take them camping all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and they loved it, but my wife would love getting all our typical camping stuff out. Mm -hmm. And she would hang the icicle lights from the awning because mm -hmm. they didn't have, 10 years ago, 15 years, they didn't have LED lights and awning. Yeah. There was no power awnings. It's new you gotta sit there. And, you could use a mm -hmm. phone app mm -hmm. and put this out nowadays, right? And oh, my the kids have them in their rooms. I mean, yeah. They, yeah. they do everything. So, yeah. really cool that, that they give you all that. And uh, speaking of pictures, this is yes. probably a good time. I have a really like a Christmas picture of you I can roll it, in. It's not even really. Thanksgiving yet. People talk about Christmas. We are now. in Christmas mode. It's not even Thanksgiving. I Next went to week, Bucky's. Bucky's is selling Christmas Bucky stuff. Next week is Thanksgiving. <laughs> week after Thanksgiving. No, no. After Thanksgiving, you're allowed to talk about Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And also, since you mentioned it, we are going camping. With your your wife approved of that. Can you just tell the people? I know you uh, don't want to. My wife or Hank wants to go camping with me for some reason. Right. Yeah, my wife and me, your wife and you, you guys have a van, we have a van. We're not all going in the so same van. So, I'm going to have one van, my wife will have one van. Oh, boy. And you and... I just need space, man. <laughs> no. Okay. I, However you want to do it. Me and my wife will be in the same van. <laughs> no one is going to feed you if in the your van. If the van is rocking, don't come knocking, okay, man. Okay, no, that's that's rules. That's rules. I've seen it happen. <laughs> so, okay. Um, this is pretty cool. The TV can actually unhook very easily mm -hmm. and hang right here. Okay. Um, cable hook up here, and there's a power plug here as well. So that way you can watch TV outside of your coach, under your awning, mm -hmm. with your LED lights on all at the same time. Very cool. How cool is that? Yeah, it I is mean, cool. really. Yeah. And, and, and this is the cool stuff that I like about companies like Coachman. Mm -hmm. It's like, this little thing is probably a dollar, right? And this little thing here, they just run an extra wire here so you can plug it in. It's yeah. like, this, this takes no effort to do, but it's so thoughtful of them to say, hey, you guys want to watch the TV outside? I got you, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, just, it's just great to have it there. And opposed to just having a big blank nothing. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, I think it's great. I or think a Coachman, table or something. Coach does nice a good too. job. Well if, you can, well, if you have that, then you can hang other things on it. It'd be cool too. Uh, you yeah. can hang a picture of me right there if you wanted. Yeah, exactly. And you go camping. Yeah. Hang um, a little table off of the it. The other thing I like, Hank, is the double handles. So one yeah. here, and one here. Yeah. According so, to you, you invented these. I I did actually invent them. I <laughs> okay. I, I get fifty cents for everyone. Uh huh. <laughs> so this is new. This, this is, is new. new. This is not in mine. It is not. So this is a whole new um, door here, which I really like this, man. Yours is old as dirt. You need a new one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, really nice screen. That is cool. I like how this is way more uh, stable being built into all this stuff and easier. You can just pull it. There's no, like, hook or whatever that you would have in mind, and you have a nice screen. That's awesome. Yeah. See through it easily. Okay, yes. very cool. Are we going in? We is. Okay, let's do it. Let's go in on the inside. Okay. So, are you going to start right up front oh, here? Oh, let's start up front. Yeah, because this is this is all new. You might want to put even turn it on. So first of all, Nick is uh, not the biggest guy, but also a big dude. Plenty yeah. of room right there, and room you can move your seat back probably. Do I have room still? If you wanted to, yeah. So you can you can go up, you can go back. There you go. Okay, so you have the back the first. So th well, this is a, this is further back than I would typically drive. Yeah. I'm six foot tall. I would probably drive right here. Yeah. These are really comfortable to drive, yeah. I think. Yes. For me. It does kind of feel like a car. So I drive a car mm -hmm. and it does kind of have that feel, which is nice. What else is cool is that it's a, I've, it's just everything feels so good. So you got your adaptive cruise here. Yep. You got your Bluetooth phone stuff here. Yeah. You can control um, your audio book or whatever you're yeah. listening to music. Look at that. Big screen. Look oh, that big that's screen. a violation. You took off those people's plastic. I'll put it back. Put their plastic. I don't like anybody moving my plastic. So, I don't take my plastic off. No? No. When you were growing up, did you have plastic on your couches in your living room? And no, uh, we, we couldn't afford. That was like hoity-toity people <laughs> had that. You know, um, we sat on the floor. Oh yeah, whatever, <laughs> Hank. You and your Audi R R8. So, uh -huh, really cool here. 
as your, you know, lots of apps you can download. So it does have Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay. Yeah, this is Sync 4. Um, so that's pretty cool. It is. And then this okay. is brand new to the 2023. So this uh, is the, there we go. the bird's eye view right oh, here. I love it. Yeah, that camera is actually really nice compared really to nice. mine. And then, yes, having that bird's eye view. So I'm assuming it's not all the time. But if you're going slow enough, you can either, uh, it'll come on oh, cool. or you, you can, can press that in. button and make it So you can on. have it all one or you can zoom out. Yeah. Um, if you're in park, you can also press the See button and it does it. So and when you're, yeah, that's when you're driving, you can do that as well, I believe. Oh, this is the front camera. So yeah, right, now we're front. Yeah. right now we're looking at the front. So when you press mm -hmm. that, you can look at the front. When you go in reverse, you can see behind. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. So you can see the bird's eye view. Yeah, and I think you've got you've got USB there and 12 volt, and I think is it USB yep. three? U uh, USC here and yeah. another 12 see, volt yeah, right there. Up there. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's really nice. I like these little pockets up here. Yep. Really neat stuff. Both of these seats do swivel around to face mm -hmm. the back, so that's that's really a uh, really nice and feature. Cup holder there, cup yeah. holder there, cup holder here. Yeah, cup and guess what? There. You, you're missing this, but we did a short on it. New pattern. There is a new pattern. This is a new. The I'll Q get some better shots for you guys. This, to show you, this is the Q new pattern for your butt. Hold on, let's put this Look back on, that. so that way the person uh, doesn't know it looks, I took it off. Yeah. See, that guy wants his plastic back. No. No. It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Uh, Mister, whoever bought this. We're sorry. That is Nick. That violated the sanctity of taking off. How's your... that? Oh, I just turned oh. AC on somehow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is a, a thing that's different with this. So, like in mine, you have a big knob. Everything for um, see, it's right there. So everything for your AC is here now. It's on the screen. Oh, that's cool. So let's see. Oh, you know what? I know this is a violation, but you oh, can man. actually. D well, take it. Out. Let's take it out of this mode. When you're here, you can actually dial it up. So you see that? Oh, yeah. That is pretty cool. So you could dial up and down and play around with it. <laughs> People don't really do that. Uh, so that's all That's all new stuff from Ford. So that's it really is. nice. Yeah. It is. So this here, if you can see it, let me, let me, let me see if yeah, I can show you them. Yeah. So if you can see this here, that is a new pattern on the Beyonds. It's on the oh, Galleria's. It's like a Whataburger. I, yeah, I... I say it's like a Whataburger. Yeah. I got made fun of from the guys that coach me for saying that, though. Yeah, and this really nice padding in these in these. So this uh, is what they the call Q foam. You know, yeah. the uh, head guys at Coachman really set out to make sure to have the most comfortable seats, couches, and beds. And they sat in all the different class B's. I remember having this conversation with them. They're asking Nick, "What's the most comfortable one?" And I kind of gave them some of my opinion. And the following year. He said, hey, sit on new couches. I want you to mm -hmm. see if you think it's it's as comfortable as the competitors. And, and man, they did it. I mean, they yeah. came out with the most comfortable couch, bed, mattress, all that. So they upgrade all mm -hmm. of their seats and everything. This is not a Ford factory seat. They upgrade all of the cushion and the leather and all that to this yeah. nice cute. So in this, as we're doing this video, people aren't going to see big, massive changes from Coachman, but, but they are constantly upgrading. Uh, some of the things people care about, like comfort. So that that's just that's where Nick and, was sitting. And really, here. right now, you're not seeing big, massive changes from anybody. Coming out of COVID, uh, there's during COVID, it was so hard to get parts. It was so hard to get chassis, hard to get labor. It was just hard to do everything. And everyone was just so busy mm -hmm. that it's hard to make changes. So yeah. now, in the next year, so like, like in 2023, We'll, we'll start seeing more changes, some more, some some new innovation. But right now, everybody's barely getting caught up. Just barely. getting the vans out the door. I, I, I mean, I haven't seen a Beyond in two or three months. I mean, it's just, yeah. they're just so hard to get the chassis. It's hard to get all the parts, to finish mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. And there's just a lot going on. Um, I don't know if you remember this, like a couple of months ago, talking about the bubble popping. Yeah. And there were some people that were mad at us because we said that the bubble in the Class B specifically, I think we were talking about Class A's and trailers and everything. That's definitely... That has slowed down. Yeah, that slowed down. But we were talking about it here that it's not slowing down no. because of demand. Uh, prices are going up on the vans, all of that. And there was, there were, you know, I think pe most people understood, but there were a couple of people that were really mad at what we said. But, no, I mean, no. I could tell you right, because they thought we, maybe we're like talking our own book. Which, uh, just saying, oh, it's not slowing down. Yeah, because, you know, but the reality is all the stats are out and all those other things went down and Class, class B's, B's are up, up like 18 to 20%, right? It's, I mean, yeah. it's, 
it doesn't seem like it's slowing yeah. down. And what's helping is the factory's getting caught up. And the yeah. factories are yeah. able to actually give people what they want. Yeah. You don't want these things to be unaffordable for people, do you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure as a, no, a guy selling us. them, you want it to it, be affordable. It kills us how they just keep going up yeah. and up and up. Yeah. Ford's going up. And yeah. then Ford goes up. So Coachman then has to raise the prices. Yeah. And then and then Coachman has to keep up, so they. Yeah. So these all vans suppliers... are approaching seventy thousand. I think they're really cool. like just the just the chassis without without everything else is approaching seventy thousand dollars right now. Crazy, isn't it? It's nuts. Yeah. You know, so I mean, that's. I just wanted to do that little thing to tell people that we weren't trying to mess with you. No. We were trying to tell you exactly what we see happening yeah. right now. So yeah, like you were saying, it's even tough. Like if you get these. People are all over it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. 100 so, percent. Really cool. Uh, how wide open this is. So, mm -hmm. so, so back to kind of talking about the RV. Yeah. Rear bath wise, wide open. Nice big window there. Nice big window here. Yeah. Nice window that. there. So wide open. Yeah. To where there's no obstructions. It, yeah. You don't feel like you're in a cave. You don't feel like you're. Yeah. You're like closed in. I really like how open it is. Mm -hmm. There is privacy if you need it. Obviously, there's shades and curtains. Yeah. And, 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 and another thing, I would tell you on the road, you know. You know when I saw transit vans, you know who was making them? <laughs> go <Gojibin. laughs> Oh Well, no one else makes yeah. them. Nobody else makes. Nobody. I else saw makes... at least three on the road. I was yeah. talking to people in the users. You should get yours wrapped with like your face on the side of it. Oh or something. God, no, no, we don't want to do that. How about I your will, van a sore I will, logo? I will. I will wrap it with that. Absolutely. I think we should. Do I'll that. even put Sunshine State RV on there. No way. Yeah, a little, little, little tiny, like a. Little poster, like a little. As a disclaimer, we don't pay Hank anything. A little mailer size one, you know, like those okay. little stamps. A little stamp thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That'd be great. Um, so you, you take it. <laughs> so, as we keep going through the coach and the action, people actually watching this video to see the RV, not to see two fat guys laughing at each other. Um, nice big sink. Uh, nice yeah. big bowl sink there. There's a cover for it somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, that's for your sponge right there. Oh, here's a and cover. And here's your garbage, something that not everyone does. They do cool. not. You yeah. know what I love about these cabinets is is that they're they're wood inside, they're wood on the on the frames, they're wood here, the frames mm -hmm. inside are wood. Mm -hmm. These are all made in an Amish factory down mm -hmm. the road from Coachman. Coachman is made in like Goshen, Middlebury area mm -hmm. of Indiana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's big. I saw my first ever. And, uh, and there's, I mean, nothing bad. My first ever Amish person in a horse and buggy mm -hmm. riding down the road with a mm -hmm. license plate on the back when I was right. in Indiana. Yeah, and they have they, ever first they time. Have never, lights. I'm they 41 have, years old. I've never seen that in my life. They have lights on it. They yeah. have license plate. There's a horse. Yeah. There's like you go to restaurants and people have the horse and horses. buggy out there. Never yeah. seen it. Yeah, the horses are pooping on the floor. Ah. And, you know, it's awesome. I have Nature. Never, Yes, it feels very interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, like very. Uh, it's like steampunk. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is what you turn on to use your batteries. This is your Firefly. This is a secondary one. There's a big one in the back. Mm -hmm. This is your Truma. So Truma does your hot water. It also does your furnace. Mm -hmm. It can run on propane or electric. People mm -hmm. really like the flexibility of propane or electric. There's tank heaters. There's a Wi-Fi router in the coach. And that's mm -hmm. how you turn your propane on and off. So yeah. having the Wi-Fi in the coach is great. You hook a SIM card in it, you have internet in your coach. And then from the internet, you can also hook up your uh, Firefly to that internet so you can control right, all you can things, do everything in here. All yeah. things to do with Lights. your RV. That's all your there. power stuff. Auto gen temperature. Start. So show them the auto gen Oh, this start. is new. Oh, wait, there's dehumidify on here. Yeah. I don't have that. On I my... know, you know oh, why? I'm skipping forward. I'm skipping forward. You don't have the fancy AC. But, yeah, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that in a second. Uh -huh. So this does have AGS, auto generator start. So you can set triggers. Mm -hmm. So if your battery gets low, you can set a trigger for oh, okay. your generator to come on. You can mm -hmm. also have it come on at certain times during the day. So if you know you're gonna be gone for three hours and you want your generator to come on for 20 minutes in the middle of that mm -hmm. to cool your coach down, you have a pet in here or something on, you can do that. Oh, cool. Um, you can also set it to where when your batteries on, that you're using for your fridge or for your lights get low, mm -hmm. you can then also turn turn that up. Uh, have have the generator turn on so yeah that's very nice cool uh, cool features so, there and then well. just a new thing i you know don't want to interrupt you here but i do notice this is a big difference with mine okay can you guys see this right here there is actually gray heat tank heat tank heat There's i don't have tank, tank i don't have tank heat on mine you don't have tank heaters no so now they're heating up the tank in this thing. they are 
Well, yeah. Just a great thing. You don't want you don't want I'm, the black. I'm not gonna do your job. I'm not gonna like help you sell this to you me. You don't want Nick. the black no, tank to be back. heated up. Could you imagine a black tank full of waste being heated up, oh, kind no. of bubbling oh, and boiling? Yeah. In Florida, we already have that happening. <laughs> so this side here, you got your solar, you yeah. got your inverter, and then this is how you turn your solar, solar on and off. Yep. Why you would ever turn your solar off? I don't I understand. Mean, yeah. It's kind of like stores that open 24 seven. Mm -hmm. Why do they have locks on the doors? They're open 24-7. I don't know. Why would they lock the door? In the apocalypse, I oh, guess. They they're still know. open. I mean, they'll say, the open 24-7 except in an apocalypse. Yeah, they're open 24-7. Exactly. You want them to open in the apocalypse? I, I want them to be open 24-7. Okay. Why would I turn my solar There's gonna off? There's going to be zombies. Do you turn the solar off in the middle of the night? Oh, wait, honey, let me get out of bed and turn my solar off. Okay. It's, it's nighttime. Nick, don't be logical. <laughs> Don't be logical. Are we going to this cabinet? I grew up watching Jerry Seinfeld. It's just like these. Yeah. These, You're like Larry uh, David over here. Uh, you know what? We missed this right here. This is the pizza oven. Uh, it looks like just a dark abyss. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So you do have storage up here, which is cool. So this is that Wi-Fi Ranger. So a couple things. There's a USB port there. So what you would do is get a like a Wi-Fi or like a little, mm -hmm. uh, what they call it, a rocket or... Yeah, hotspot. 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 Hot spot, plug yeah. it in there. You have internet and the whole coach. It's really yeah. neat. Yeah, um, nice big cabinets here. Cabinets nice there. Cabinet, cabinet here. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Why? Why, Nick? We Tell don't me know. why. We don't know. Can we? Can we? Can we? We got. Yeah. If you have scissors on you, we can cut the wires it's and throw removable. this thing away. Yeah, I think you can unplug things. You know. I think half of our customers take this out and throw it away. Yeah, I took mine out recently. Yeah. But I don't know why those. I think Coachman has a whole bunch of these. Yeah, they bought stock in yeah. Jensen. Yeah, and you know what, man? If they would Warren just Buffett might own Jensen. It's possible. And he might just be like, hey, yeah. Jensen's a dying brand. We need to get them out on the road. Put them in every RV I sell. Yeah. Warren, Warren you know Buffett what? I have says. an idea. Take the chips out of those and solve the chip crisis. And don't put them in, the, don't put them in here. And you know what's funny? Somebody would tell me, oh, I love that Hank, thing. Hank is on record. He, he is he is going to be running for president in 2024. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'll announce right now. A lot of announcements this week. Listen, I'm not I'm naturalized, so I can't be president, unfortunately. Otherwise, uh, you guys will have to deal with a Hank Strange presidency. We would definitely vote for you. Um, so I could be governor. Four, four big ones here. Um, all yeah, of the lights of storage. In. So what I like is that there's lights. So when it's dark yeah. outside, you do have a little ambient, little background lighting there. Mm -hmm. um, this thing here is pretty cool. You got microwave, couple drawers down there, yep. and, and a countertop here. Um, yep, very nice. Microwave, yep. not uh, not uh, convection, but yeah. high quality drawers. Yeah. Uh, I use the microwave in my van more than I use the stove. So, and obviously the fridge. The fridge with the freezer. Yeah, some people will say this is not like the bigger fridge. Some people like that bigger fridge, but there is, this is different beyond layout that you can get. Oh yeah, well there's a 22D, a which has the twin beds. Mm -hmm. There's also the 22C, which has the power sofa in the back and they both have the yeah. big fridge. If both. you had a big fridge going all the way up here, it would, you would it lose would ruin this. The, the openness, which yeah. no, no, nobody likes that. Which is awesome. And check this out, man. Oh, shoot. This is great for you and, and Mary because you know, Mary can sleep on her side, you can sleep on your side, and never the twain well, shall meet. We sleep in the same bed. <laughs> I know a lot. I've spoken I'm not to a your lot age yet. <laughs> There's a lot of people who have these and they enjoy it. I, I connect them together. I'm you not can your age yet, you can, uh, you can rig your own setup and actually connect these My beds wife tells me I snore. It. I've never heard myself snore, uh, so, I, so I do not believe it. You need that sleep machine. That's um, what you need. No. And this is the lagoon table, mm -hmm. which is pretty neat. So this thing can swivel, it can be used here, there, yeah. and everywhere. Yep. It can be used in a cat, in a hat, with a or bat. Or with a bat. Yeah, I use mine all the time. I put all my stuff on there to do it. Pretty neat, podcast. right? Yep. You do your podcast from here, don't you? From my van, yes. And that's what I like about this setup. I could sit over here, I could have a bunch of equipment here. You know, we recently sold one of these to a single person that was mm -hmm. going to use the other side strictly as storage. So they got some like plastic shelves yeah. to put clothes in. Mm -hmm. They were going to use one size of bed and one side as storage. Yeah. And, and they said it worked perfect. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty good. And, uh, you know, Nick didn't show you guys this, but there's some kind of... Oh, you did show that yeah. one, but there's more. This here. There's things here. This and one here. I could tell you, I do actually... Um, if you guys check out Overland Gear Guy, 
I got some uh, pads that he makes that you can actually oh. put in these windows, and it gives you extra it insulation. It absorbs the heat. Yeah, and it you know like cuts out the light and stuff like that. So if you guys are looking for that, you'll find a link in the description. You can go to Overland Gear Guy and tell him Hank Strain sent you. We actually have a code. Um, so what's cool is there mm -hmm. is room in here to put a battery. So this is where right now it's not. This open, is where my battery but is. This is where Hank's battery is. Is yep. under this bed. Yep. Um, so there is room in there, and it doesn't take up any storage because this is not a storage area under here. This is yeah. just strictly a... Are you going to take credit for personally putting in my battery? I did personally. <laughs> I, I I screwed right. in the last yeah. screw to your battery. Yeah, sure. <laughs> to take credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> this one is so Craig can blame any complaints I have they, on you. <laughs> they all blame me for anything already. Yeah. <laughs> so this here meets in the middle to make a bed. Just like that. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, it does. Uh, yeah, okay, go ahead, sleep on that. Well, I'm just yeah. saying. You could put, you could bridge it. You could definitely yeah. bridge in between this. That's what I've done. It's really easy. You can, you know, there's basically some strips of wood you could put on the yeah. here, and you could create something so you well, can That's why these are the here. exact size of I have a video. I have a video on it. See? There? Oh, okay. Why, why, why else would they do that? I don't know. But you could lift these up. See? Lifts up. Yeah. There you go. And like you were saying, if that lady that uh, bought one from you doesn't want this cushion, you could put, because there's wood under there, you could put anything. You can have it on top of the yeah. cushion. No, it's cool. Yeah, you can um, have a guest. LG TV, mm -hmm. smart TV. Um, it does swivel out, which is nice. I don't know how to do it. Yep. Uh, but, oh, there we go. Yeah. Swivels around. This TV looks a little bit nicer than mine. I bet you it's a lot nicer than yeah. yours. Yeah, it looks, it, it looks a little bit nicer than so, mine. So, smart TV. So, what's mm -hmm. cool is you get the Wi-Fi router. Um, the SIM card, you hook mm -hmm. it up in here, you can then log this TV into that so you can watch Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, um, whatever you want to watch while you're on the road the whole time. So people yeah, really like having nice. a smart TV. There's also um, the local channels you can pick up from yeah. the antenna. Pop it again, let's and, see. And then you got a whole bunch of stuff. You've got USB-C back here and regular USB and a power plug. And power plug, you yeah. have HDMI cords Yeah. Um, to plug in HDMI stuff. You yeah. also have And I think if you have movies, sorry Nick, I think if you if you're like really from like really old school and you have movies that go in there, like DVDs. they could actually play down here, yeah. No, this is just a CD player. Uh do people buy CDs? C anymore? HDMI. Do people buy <laughs> CDs anymore? DVDs? I don't know. I don't know who does that, but you could do it. I'm telling you, there's an HDMI have, cable coming out of that. I don't even have cable that. anymore. I just do no, the, me neither. <laughs> But somebody, there's somebody out there who has it. Yes. So there's one big thing behind you, or actually, no, not behind you, above It you, is more on top of me. Yes, I do feel I'm very jealous the aura of. in the presence of something almighty above this me. This is, man, there's oh, so much about I there. like about this. It's streamlined. So this um, is, this is probably one of the bigger differences besides the chassis mm -hmm. that is in your coach. This is the brand new, mm -hmm. the all new, the Mac Daddy granddaddy of them all not granddaddy it's not old the mac daddy the truma aventi air conditioner and it's a big deal we did a it video is. specifically announcing that coachman was going over to these we did and at the time they weren't putting it in the beyonds truma is a german company yep they were just putting them in the novas yeah and now they're putting them in the beyonds the mm -hmm. gallery is and the novas it is a thinner air conditioner mm -hmm. so it's a less it's a lower profile yep so Look i'm six that. foot awesome. so there's lots of space here the other thing that's cool well, there's lots that's cool on top it's also lower profile mm -hmm. so it saves you a few inches on clearance on top it's much quieter much more energy efficient and it has a dehumidifier built in it has a nighttime mode, like a soft start to mm -hmm. where when the compressor kicks on, it doesn't go like, like mm -hmm. it's a real soft start. So mm -hmm. lots of really, really cool features with the Truma Aventi air conditioner. So it's 110, but it works like a 12 volt. I it think, is, right? it is 110. Yeah. And we've done tests on it. The night mode is mm -hmm. as quiet, if not quieter, than than the 12 volt air conditioner. Yeah, I think the dehumidifier in there as well is really nice, especially yes. if you have it stored, let's say, places here in Florida. Yeah. And you know, it's very humid and here. You could get all of that out real fast. Yeah. So it's a real, a really, really cool air conditioner. Yeah, love it. Um, we need to call Truma and get you one. Uh, I 
Uh, if anyone from Truma is watching this, <laughs> Hank Strange needs a Truma AC. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> so that no, it's actually that. awesome. not even available to no. fit into it's our region. It's exclusively Asia. for Coachman right yeah, now. It is. Yeah. It is. So, um, and there's also a Max fan in here, which these are great. These yes. are great. So yes. I love these. All right, know. so the uh, title of, awesome. the title of survey is Rear Bath, and we haven't even been in the bathroom yet. No. So we need to go in there. And let so, me just say this. Say this Rear Hank. Bath. What are you going to say, Hank? <laughs> go ahead, Hank. Did I just see you roll your go eyes? Ahead, Hank. <laughs> no, Rear Bath is awesome, man. It's awesome. Every person making a, a van should do Rear Bath. It's just you have a bigger bathroom. It's more usable. I love it, man. So, yeah. Yes. I know what you're going to say now, but not everybody. I will say, in mm -hmm. most of the rear baths that I've seen have smaller fridges. Not everyone, oh, not everyone that. likes that. Oh, okay. The other That's thing true. about the rear bath mm -hmm. is that it does take up a lot of space mm -hmm. for the bathroom. And not everybody puts such a high emphasis on the bathroom. That's true. As you do. Can't argue that. You're so, right. And a lot of people don't even use the bathroom in their bath. So, yeah. I think Coachman did a great job, even if you don't care about the bathroom, mm -hmm. in this floor plan. Yeah. So even even if you're like, eh, the bathroom's so such a small thing for me, I think this is great in in and of itself. But mm -hmm. then when you look at the bathroom, guys our size, this this is what we fit. It's in. amazing. Let me flip and go around to the back side and show the bathroom. Did, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could come in here and show. Yeah, and show I mean, you in it, well, but the, I, I stand up tall. You don't want the I fit. In here. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we, yeah, we both cannot fit. Yeah, you can move. You around. can sit on my lap. You, no, no. No, no, no. So we can move around? I even, now I gotta erase that from my mind. You're not Santa Claus. Try, you can set your laptop up here. <laughs> There's you, a lot of storage in here. You can set a laptop up a, here. Yeah. You can put a TV here. Nick, this is be, one of my favorite things about my band, man. And you can be taking care of business while on your laptop and watching TV. Yeah. Taking care of business. I would say if someone is buying a van, uh, if they want a, a Ford Transit, they want it from an established company like Coachman, you know, then you should get, this is my favorite floor plan, although I know it doesn't, when I meet people, Nick, they tell me, no, nah, I don't like that rear bath, you know, like you're saying, the people have It's just, every, yeah. every, you know, and, and I get this question all the time, Hank, and I know we talk about it on these videos, mm -hmm. is people always ask, what is the best RV? Mm -hmm. And and I remember when you came in and we started talking through RVs that you and Lola wanted, this ended up being the best because mm -hmm. you like a big bathroom, mm -hmm. because you were doing your podcast inside of it, and you wanted all-wheel drive, mm -hmm. and you want to So this ended up being the best for you. Yeah. It's not necessarily the best for me, and yeah. it's not going to be the best for people watching, but finding what that best is is what we do great at Sunshine State RVs because we have such a wide selection mm -hmm. of them, the Coachman, Road Trek, American Coach, Winnebago, or Dynamax, all the different brands, you can find the best You could one. come here, you could look at them, you could try them We out. did that video with Willie the other day. Yeah. He came here with three different ones, one used and two new, yeah. and he walked away with one he didn't even, it wasn't on his list. Right. <laughs> he was, loved it. Willie's doing good, right? Willie he's is. Cowboy Willie. Yeah, he's out on the road. He is. Yeah. But, but it's really cool. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll fly you here from anywhere in the country mm -hmm. and put you up at a campground and, you know, go through this whole process with you to find the right one. Mm -hmm. You found the right one, and yeah. it was a Beyond Rear Bath. Yeah. Lots of people find the right ones, and it's and it's all totally different. Yeah. Now, look at this. I'm going to show you, Nick. Uh-oh. Look, show. You're sitting there on the throne, the porcelain throne. Yes. And uh, it works. It does. Yeah, it works. Oh, a big and, dude, lots of space. Yeah, you got room. You got elbow room in there, you know. You and if you really need to air it out back here, you just open that up a little bit. Well, there's a fan right there. There's a, well, there's I a said, like, fan. really air it out. Oh, like, yeah. really, really If you want to out. enjoy nature while you make nature, I don't know. Let's see if you can open that. There's a sink right open behind you. There. Let's see. How's that? There you go. Look at that. We can look there at the There we go. It's coming. Boom. Here we go. So. There's Nick. So, so this is where you have your shower. Yep, right here. Standing right here. And the curtain kind of wraps around and it covers your cabinets. If they do get a little wet, it's no big deal. Yep. Uh, but the curtain does come around and cover them. Yep. You do have a sink here mm -hmm. with a little drain in it. So this goes up and down as needed. Um, you have hot and cold water here. Yep. Um, and then you have your toilet. Toilet. And you have a medicine cabinet for all. Where well, you can put a bunch of, I put it like toilet paper. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, you got to use specific RV you, toilet paper, people. You can never have enough toilet I paper. I think you guys give some of that in your in like a little. We do. Whenever starter. someone buys an RV from us, we give them a starter kit. Yeah. This is new. I like this too. Mine has um, something that's not as solid as this one. 
So this cool, is really right? nice. You can go all the way down, and boom. Look That's at that. Nice. See, you could be in there showering or whatever you want to do. and you Wide don't open to... like this? Yeah, you don't have to worry about mosquitoes or anything biting you. I gotta worry about. Us. I gotta worry about the paparazzi following me around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the paparazzi, man. What do you do? Okay, wait. I want. There we go. Oh, does this have magnets on it, or how does this? That's how does that even stay down? That's pretty good. Magic. No, these must be magnets right here. Probably these are magnets, like Potential. here. And Check here. this out. I always, I always saw by this, the dovetail. Mm -hmm. So pretty neat there. Nice high quality cabinetry. Mm -hmm. So you know all all the brands we carry, Hank and, and Coachman is definitely uh, one of my favorite ones. We're the number one dealer in the country for Coachman. All the brands we carry, I, I personally vet and I make sure that the quality is good, their warranty is good, that the brand is good. And being being the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida, number three in the whole nation. Mm -hmm. All the Class B manufacturers want us to carry their brands. The ones we carry are ones that we believe in. We truly believe in what the guys at Coachman are doing. The guys are care, their team. We were up there last year. I fed their entire factory lunch. Thank them all very much. And I know a lot of you guys go up there as well. I know, Hank, you've been there quite a few yep. times. Yep. They got such a good team over there, from engineers to their reps to their you know people running the company. Everybody at Coachman has, has been doing a great job through COVID. And, and they just really care. I will say, out of all the companies we deal with, they really, really care. If you about buy a every, Coachman, every they will van. care about you. Yeah. 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 After you buy that van, they will take care of you. There's also a good Facebook group too. Yeah. There's a good Facebook group. You guys do a Dean, lot to help folks out. Dean, the trail boss, yep. is Shout on that face, Dean. Yeah. Facebook group, and right. the um, lots of lots of cool people. All the we're other doing people. Uh, Glamafits, we're, and I can't oh, remember everyone. Oh, we're doing else. a big uh, rally with them in March. Okay. We are. We're doing that again, huh? Yeah. I don't know if okay. you're going to be invited this time, Hank. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> you had too many chicken wings last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> they might say, guys, we need the food to last a little longer. Let's okay. not invite Hank. Hey, oh. Hank, the rally steaks next time. The rally's March 10th, okay? Okay. It's the third. All coachmen. It's, it's how many, March 10th. How many, um, I think we had what, like 65, 70? Something uh, like that. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. yeah it's like actually that. the rally's cool. March 3rd through 5th in Ocala. Oh, why it's are you not, telling me it's the 10th? I, I just okay. because we're doing a special one for you afterwards. Yeah. Just for you right, by sure. yourself. Well, VIP, yeah, exactly. VIP rally. Yeah. Mm. Hank, I'm gonna crash anyway. It doesn't Hank, matter to me. In the beyond, in the middle of the field. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if I'm invited or not. The stranger. I, I'm just gonna crash. The La La Palooza rally. Yeah. You guys try to throw me out. I'll just start rolling. Like this is Hank no. Strange. I'm getting thrown out the right La now. La Palooza <laughs> rally. We're in. Let's do it. So listen, you got to come out here because there's still more stuff to show people. Oh. I think that's one of the benefits of of like doing this rare bath. All this storage, like even above you. Yeah. There's storage right storage there. Storage here, storage here, here floor here. mats. That's really cool. Your plug. This is that yeah. hose I was talking about over there. Yep. More storage here. Yeah. You can and, and you know what people do from here? They put little hooks and they hang bags mm -hmm. like those. Uh, what's that stuff called that you hang on yours? Um, you're talking about molly panels. Yes. Yes. Molly panels. Right. You can hang them there. Mm -hmm. These things have covers for this. Yeah. There is an extra insulation inside these doors. Oh, there is. Okay. Yep. Yep. Here's so the whole RV right has right here has a rockable insulation okay. and cozy wrap. Oh, nice. In the entire RV. And yeah. then they also do an added insulation inside the rear door. This is so over what I have, mine doesn't have that, so that's nice. Yeah, the another but, reason why you should trade today. Uh, yeah, okay. Two yeah. Days. Okay. Um you're, you're you know these look like they have strong. twelve inch subwoofers in the doors. Yep. Not really. Yeah, though. you got the yeah, I those are not it's... 12 inch subwoofers. No, no. They're just regular little But there's a lot of you know, you get a lot of room, man. If I go shopping or something like that, I have a bunch of stuff. I can open up the back of this, throw everything. throw everything in there. Even in the shower, you could put like grocery bags. And it's so long going through it that you could just, you know, yeah. even if you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really very convenient. I've used my van a lot. And and a lot of people are buying these small Class Bs to use as their second car, mm -hmm. to use as an extra vehicle that they just don't need it that much, but they have it for when they do need it. Just very easy. Yeah. I'll give you guys a look here at this. So, you know, so I think the premise of this, Nick, was, you know, what do I think about it? 
Right. After having one of these, that's, that's approaching two years old. Yeah. Um, 40,000 miles or so? 40,000 miles on it. <laughs> I, I love it. I mean, you know, I'm not going to lie and say that I don't. I look at a lot of vans. You do. So I'm always thinking about, oh, what's the next and van? Typically, I, whenever I show you another van, I always say, hey, do you like this one better than yours? And you right. always say, no, I like mine better. Yeah, I, that is typically the thing. I mean, yeah. I think in my mind, I'm looking for, I'm always looking for stuff that's different mm -hmm. to share with people. But I would say, like, my van has served me very well. Oh, yeah. Over, I think I have maybe 42,000 miles yeah. on it. That's cool. And uh, it's, yeah, it served me really well. So I think if Lola told me right now out of the vehicles, I, I'm only allowed to have two. So you got your Audi and your van? Yeah, I've got my R8, I've got the van. If she cut me down to just one, I would go with the van. Oh, that's good. Because I think it's really useful. I mean, I was just able to leave here, go to California. You were gone for a month. Yeah, and do what I wanted to do. I had a fun time. This is really cool, and I like the the subtle upgrades that are in yeah. here. Yeah. And the not-so-subtle ones like the AC. Yes. That's a big deal. Uh, yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, big deal to have that because I think that um, that's way better on the H, well, I don't, you can't use the AGM battery with this, but. No, but you can use the generator, you, you can plug in. Yeah, you can, you know, it's I more mean, efficient on that. Use the fan. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. if you went over, if you added some batteries or whatever then, in here. Then you could do that. Yeah. Then you could use that. So like thing. my battery set up, if I'm doing like four and a half to 10 hours on that one, no, I'm saying, sorry, four and a half to five hours, I could probably go maybe 10, eight. 11. Well, I'm a double. Yeah. But you, yeah. you can go six to eight hours, definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a big, big deal. Difference. That's big better difference. than getting like more batteries. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys at Truma, if you're watching this, Hank Strange needs so, an air conditioner. Hook my boy up. <laughs> Thanks. Hook I, him appreciate, up. I appreciate that. But what do you think? What's your, just tell the folks out there without me interrupting you, what do you think that you've seen from uh, Coachman with the Beyond and the changes that they've done? Yeah, I, I think, you know, the key thing that I say in every video that I've been saying in this video is mm -hmm. I truly feel like the guys at Coachman care. Mm -hmm. And and they and they make sure that everything they're doing when they're designing the RVs, they're designing it with camping people in mind. Not just, okay, how do I make how do I make this to sell a bunch or to make a bunch of money, but how do we make this to where people can truly camp and enjoy everything about the RV? Mm -hmm. They truly believe that. And, and I can tell because they're always making subtle changes that make it better. Um, and the C floor plan, the D floor plan, this rear bath on the Beyonds, there's Galleria, there's three mm -hmm. or four. There's Nova, there's, there's, there's a few different floor plans. So lots of floor plans, lots of options with Coachman. They're a great company. And like I said, we're their number one dealer in the country. That's because we believe in them. We truly believe that they are a great manufacturer making a, one, of, one of the best class BRVs on the market. Truly yeah. is. I can't argue that. I can't argue that, so uh, I won't. I won't argue it. Perfect. All right, so for folks who are looking at this, they yeah. want to get this, what we're do they in, need to do? We're, uh, we're in Gainesville, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we'll fly you down. If you come here, pick out an RV, we'll cover all your expenses, mm -hmm. put you up at a campground, teach you how to use the RV. You know, something cool about the Sunshine State Elite Club mm -hmm. that, that <laughs> we started the week after Hank bought his RV right. um, uh -huh. is, is that, you know. So we, if I buy we, this now, am I in the club or, the club. Uh, no, I bet you, you'll say, you know what, the club is out and we'll club start a club out. tomorrow. We're going to start a new club. Yeah. <laughs> Sunshine Elitist Club. Uh -huh. um, guaranteed service appointment in five days. If you've ever owned an RV, you know, the hardest thing is to get your RV worked on. No matter mm -hmm. where you live, what you do, even if from the from the selling dealer, it's hard mm -hmm. to get worked on. We guarantee you a service appointment within five days, no matter mm -hmm. where you're at, no matter what the problem is, we guarantee to get you in. We go tech support over the phone. Anywhere in the United States you are, you call us, I get you on the phone or FaceTime with one of our technicians to help you through your issue. Mm -hmm. um, and then with our great relationship with Coachman, we, we're we also able to leverage that relationship all over the country. So. Yeah. So being, being that we know a bunch of the dealers and, and we have such a great relationship with the factory, we're able to, to take advantage of that to get you serviced yeah. no matter where you live in the whole United States. Yeah. Um, but if you do want to drive here, we'll rent you a car. Mm -hmm. Once you get here, we teach how to use it with a technician for as long as you need. Mm -hmm. Put you up at a campground for a couple nights so you can test everything. You know, I always tell people that if this is your first time ever buying an RV or knowing anything about it, the package that we've assembled just makes your first beginning of buying the RV just so pleasurable mm -hmm. and, and easy because we teach you, we put you up, we're there with you, holding your hand, available phone call anytime. 
So that way, when you when you have the RV, it just makes everything so much easier. Yeah, I totally agree with that, man. You guys have been pretty good to me and Lola since we bought our van. Yeah, but I also I don't have to pay you to say that. <laughs> no, uh, but I also I always talk to the folks who are here as well, and yeah. I know that you know obviously you're doing this and you're selling a lot of vans specifically here, and things come up. Yeah, and I talk to people about what happens when things go wrong, and I know as a for a fact you guys take care of them, right? Mm -hmm. That is yeah. Cool. So I think that's really important, and uh, you know I. I would definitely suggest to folks out there if you're really serious about getting a class b to come check this place out um you can't really go wrong in my opinion that's true so there we go and i also want to say i think i'm i'm over 22,000 subscribers right now when i go out there i meet folks all the time cool. that look at the videos yeah. you know they had they they enjoy this stuff they enjoy the banter. A couple of people complain that I interrupt you too they much. Complain. You know, haters I read it. Hate. I read it. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna change. <laughs> so just uh, don't interrupt my lunch. I don't care if you uh, interrupt me in no. the videos. Just don't Let interrupt me, my lunch. Really? So did I or did I not interrupt lunch today? today. The there DoorDash guy Boom. delivered the food, and Hank walked in right with it at the same time. I didn't even call him. I just showed up here. Yeah, it's all good. We always have time yeah. for the Hankster. Good seeing you, man. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you. All right. Uh, check out the channel here. we got tons of videos. Also, Sunshine State RVs is on YouTube, so if you look that up, you'll find them. They've got a ton of videos there, and call them up if you need anything. I'm out of here. Thanks, Nick. See ya. Okay, we're out.